If you're looking for some new cinematic LUTs for LumaFusion that is really going to improve your footage, stay tuned. Hey there, I'm Mark Brown from Editor's Keys and welcome to the video. Today I'm excited to announce our second LUT pack for LumaFusion. Now many of you have downloaded and love our Essentials LUT pack and if you don't have it, you can still get it for free by checking out the link in the description below. But today we're announcing the Cine M Pro LUT pack which is our more professional grade LUT pack that we've spent a ton of time on. So today I'll show you the LUTs and show you how you can install them into LumaFusion. So let's go. So we've got five new LUTs in this LUT pack and the first one is called Arctic Glow and this is going to give your footage some real nice wintry looks, perfect for those kind of winter shots or snow scenes. Next up is the Nostalgia LUT and this is going to do exactly what it sounds like. It's going to make your footage look much more nostalgic, give you that vintage look and you know what, this is perfect for when you go out shooting in golden hour. Next up is the Teal and Orange 2 LUT. Now we know many of you really, really love the first edition of this LUT because we see it in videos everywhere. So the second one, we've really spiced up the recipe and we've improved the contrast, the saturation and the vibrancy to really give your footage some really nice, bright, punchy looks without overdoing it. So you're gonna love that one. Next up is the Cine Green LUT, and this is going to give your footage a real cinematic look to it. If you've watched any documentaries on Netflix or any films recently, you may have seen this kind of look on a lot of these documentaries and films. So if you want to take your footage from being quite bland and boring to very cinematic, this is the LUT to check out. And then finally we have the Cine Magenta look and I think you're really going to love this one because this plays with your shadows and highlights and gives your footage a kind of warm yet moody look to it. It plays with the magenta within your footage so I think you're really going to love this. So next I'm going to show you how you can install the LUTs into your program and what you can do to your footage before you apply them to get the best looks. So let's jump into it. Okay, so once you've downloaded your Cine Pro LUTs to your On My iPad folder, all you need to do is simply tap it once to unzip the folder. And then if you go into the unzip folder, you'll now have the Editor's Keys 4K grain and the five LUTs plus a how to use file. Now, if you have the LumaFusion icon on your LUTs, you can simply tap them and they will import automatically into LumaFusion. However, if you don't have the icon or you're finding that process isn't working, all you need to do is right click and then share and then scroll to the right here and click open in LumaFusion. And then what will happen here is what we'll need to do is go into our LUT section of LumaFusion and basically to get there all you have to do is double click any file, any video file that is, and then up the top here um, where you've got color presets just go along to this icon here, click this and you'll see your new editor's keys LUT has been installed. So to test this out we've got a shot here of a girl walking through some snowy scene and you know what, the shot looks pretty good already. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply our Editor's Keys LUT to this and see how it looks. There we go, and how good does that look? So, of course, this is on the, uh, as, as intense as it can be, essentially. But if you wanna pull that down, you can by dragging this blend slider here. But you know what, I think that looks pretty good right at the top there for this shot. So I'm gonna put this on uh, the second shot here, let's just uh, double click into this and then essentially you do the same thing. You want to click to the box here, click the Editor's Keys Arctic Glow and let's play through it and see how it looks. And what we can do is we can tick the little eye icon here to see what it looks like on and off. So it's on, this is what it's like off and you can see it made such a big difference to the footage. So let's use another example here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to um, my files app and I'm going to find uh, one of our favorites from the previous LUT packs and it was the orange and teal uh, LUT and so we've improved it this time around. So let's open that in LumaFusion. That's imported and you can see here we've got this footage here of us uh, when we went to the NAB trade show in Las Vegas and again this footage looks okay you could probably upload this to YouTube but you know what we want to take this footage to the next level. So let's start with this shot here 
we've got the shot of us just driving to the trade show in the morning and let's apply our edits keys LUT to this you can see here we've got the orange and teal just imported and boom look at that it just brings out the dynamic range the colors look great in the sky um, I'm going to take the blend down just very very slightly and then let's apply this to the previous shot here let's go across here so we're going to apply it to this shot let's double click again go across to the box and then click the orange and teal There we go. I think that looks absolutely fantastic. It's brought out the dynamic range. It sort of crushed the shadows a little bit and it looks fantastic. Let's just play that through. Let's just pause it and turn it off and back on. And you can see there just by using the lights, importing them, you've done some really great stuff to your footage. It's going to look really fantastic when you upload that uh, for work or for your YouTube channel. Now, what I would recommend, of course, uh, before you apply a light, you know, don't just think you're going to um, chuck a light onto any footage and it will look great first time round. You will need to edit your footage. So I'd recommend, first of all, uh, before you do this the first time, is uh, let's just take off the light here. Now, this footage. Uh, is is pretty well you know exposed um, it looks pretty great but what I would do is play around here with your brightness your contrast your saturation and just get it to a good level because you know if you if you bring a footage and it looks like this that light isn't going to do anything for it you really want to balance it out and get it to a good level same with the contrast you, you know you don't want it too high you don't want it to already be crushed before you apply a lot so get the footage looking nice and kind of flat basically you know nice and even Nothing's too oversaturated or undersaturated. Nothing's too over or underexposed. And once you've got it nice and even, then you apply the LUT. And then you'll have some fantastic looking footage. So there you go. How good do those LUTs look? Now, if you've got any questions about the LUTs or if you've got any questions about how you install them, if you're a bit lost, uh, leave us a comment below because I promise we do get back to every single question asked. And if you've already downloaded the LUTs or the other pack and you've got links to your footage, uh, give us a, a tweet or a mention on Instagram and we'll try and share your footage as well because we'd love to see what you're doing with the LUTs and how creative you're getting. Now, if you want to learn more about your program, we've got a ton of other tutorials on the channel to give you color grading tips or editing tips. So make sure you check those out and I'll see you in the next video.